We request to negotiate. We come to you unarmed. We desire to communicate. You cannot do us harm. Reopening into the investigation of 9-11. Well, there's a lot we still need to learn. Of course we want to look into that. We should look into every aspect, though. Really, because the, because the commission came away uh, stating that they they weren't given full access, even the commission itself. Were you aware of that? The, uh, the BYU professor, Steve... Uh, Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones, yeah. I've been with him. I, he's, uh, he's done some interesting work. Yeah, so. yes. what, have you, have you gave, uh, given much thought to to the possibility that it was a false flag terror attack on 9-11. Well, I, I mean, I know those. there's still a lot to learn about what happened and what didn't right. happen, and, and we should be vigilant and continuing right. to investigate that, absolutely. Appreciate that. Uh, with We Are Change, we believe that uh, that it was a false flag terror attack, that, that the buildings came down because of uh, internally placed uh, explosive demolition. Three buildings came down at nearly free fall speed, and the fire couldn't have caused that. So. Uh, we think it's uh, crucial that, that an investigation be held uh, to find out you know, why it was done and who was behind it. So if you'd support that, we'd appreciate that. Well, thanks for sharing. I appreciate you know, good Americans being vigilant in every, every aspect. So. Thanks for being here. Well, what, do you, what do you think about the cybersecurity? What do you think about the... the I, I understood, I understood that you were against the cybersecurity bill, but then you changed your mind on that and voted for it. Which the cyber security bill? It was, well, uh, I'd have to look at which one you're talking is about. Is that 4061? Yeah, I believe so. Cyber security. I've taken about a thousand votes on the floor. I'd have, this, I'd be happy to look at Looking at your voting record, it shows that you voted no and then following yes on the re just a, a series of legislations regarding the Cyber Security Act and, oh, oh, yeah. and, and the rules. That's what we're referring to with regards to the cybersecurity centers that they're building and stuff like that. So. I think it was HB 4061. What it, the problem with the bill is, is that it now allows the government to do in the United States what the Chinese government is doing in China, which is to control the web. And if, if it gets to the point where they're controlling the web, we're in, we feel that like we're in deep trouble because uh, we feel like the Internet is the only place you can really find the truth out. There's a lot of, of course, nonsense, but you can't learn the truth by watching the 6 o'clock news. And so we hate to see the Internet shut down. So if you can help us to keep the Internet... Okay. Alive and well. I appreciate it. All right. Fair sure. enough. Fair All right. Enough. Thanks a lot. Hey. Uh, first off, I, I want to I commend you on your work on body scanners. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm completely against those. Uh, I would really like to see that uh, you do more to get them out. Um, obviously, you're kind of tied up. But I, I actually have a two part question for you. Uh, the first question. Uh, is are you aware, aware of an internal memo concerning the NSA had business accounts with Fortune 500 companies selling private information services to the highest bidder? And if not, would you like a copy of the memo? Second, <laughs> with, <laughs> with regards to the NSA's multi-billion dollar expansion into Utah, why should the tax fund, uh, taxpayers fund the bill without getting full disclosure of the details and at what point does national security trump the public's right to know about po potential surveillance against pri private citizens for business purposes? Um, thank you. Uh, as far as the body scanners, um, I think that was the right, right position to take. I, I do believe that there is a, a very real threat out there. But I think we should demand as the American people, and I want to demand as a lawmaker, that we become more effective but less invasive. And, and that, to me, is a standard that we should not have to sacrifice. Um, as far as the uh, NSA, and I want to make sure I get both parts of, of right. your, your question, I, I am not aware of the, the memo. If you, if you could share it with me, I, I'd yeah, appreciate I, it. I'll, I'll email it to you. I just, I'm not, I don't know exactly what, what that is. Um, I am personally excited about the NSA facility coming to Utah. I do believe that the NSA plays an important role in our national security, but we also have to remain vigilant that this is used for uh, understanding what is happening in, in, in foreign parts of the world and not used for domestic spying of, of, of any sort. And uh, I do sit on the, the House Judiciary Committee. I am not an attorney. It was interesting, when I met with Leader Boehner and we were talking about different potential committee assignments, 
Um, we had talked about a couple, and then he suggested the House Judiciary. And I said, well, that, with all due respect, I'm not an attorney. He said, exactly. That's why we want you to be on this committee. <laughs> so um, I, I do enjoy sitting on it. We've been dealing with things like the Patriot Act and, and you know, some very tough, difficult, uh, sensitive issues. I would love to see that reversed. But, um, but you know, we've, we've got to make sure that we're vigilant at the same time, because I do believe we have to have the very best intelligence. But there's a big point of differentiation between intelligence upon Americans and dealing what we're have, have to deal with with foreign entities and foreign um, uh, terrorists and others that want to see death and destruction to the United States of America. So I hope that gives you a sense yeah, of what you're coming to. I, I understand where you're coming from. I also understand that you know it's, it's a good opportunity for jobs. However, my concern is that by putting this one here in Utah as well as the others that they're putting around the country, uh, it, and with the, that internal memo, uh, the possibility for data mining uh, U.S. citizens' information and tracking what they're doing on the Internet, what they're searching for, is just a, an attempt to suppress any dissent from the American people, which is a, a, a bad thing because dissent is the purest form of patriotism, and I think that's the, the spirit that our founding fathers had. Fair enough, and uh, I hope you all can hear what, he, what he's saying. Um, I have participated in a few, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the exact word, secure briefings where the public is not allowed into it, but in our republic that's partly how it works. I, you know, I am your representative in that, but I do sign, sign a security uh, documentation that I will not share what I've heard and seen. I will tell you that I've done that with the, uh, everyone from the, uh, uh, dealing with the NSA dealing with the foreign intelligence uh, briefings uh, that we've received on Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, the classified briefing from General McChrystal. I do, I do read the uh, event um, in secret, if you will, with the uh, um, Secret Service dealing with the, uh, what was going on with the people getting into the White House and have had subsequent follow-up. So I'm very sensitive and really believe that we got to have maximize the openness and transparency. There is a portion that is under national security. Uh, being part of that process, I have greater respect for it. Doesn't mean that we just give them a free pass. It means that we've got to hold people accountable in those meetings as well. And I assure you, and, and the rest, that I'm doing my very best to, to do that. Um, and I and I appreciate this country and the approach that they're having it. But we need to always be vigilant that we don't just overly trust somebody and allow that to be unchecked. So, anyway, yes, yes, sir. Hi. Um, I'm, uh, uh, appreciate you taking the time um, to talk to us today. Um, nine and a half years ago, we had an attack on our soil. We brought down three skyscrapers and uh, hit on the Pentagon and plane down in uh, Pennsylvania. And I wanted to know if uh, uh, recently, um, Six of the ten members of the 9 11 Commission have publicly come out and said that there was some sort of a cover up involved in their investigation. And there's been a lot of evidence that has come out since their investigation. Do you support a new investigation of the September 11th? Yeah, they, they, some of these other gentlemen were asking about this. The question was about 9 11. Um, have we learned everything we should learn? Is there more? Is there some sort of cover up? Is there some sort of I don't know the answer to that question. Would I support and, uh, and uh, uh, want there to be a full disclosure of what we can find? Uh, absolutely. I want to go with that. There are questions that we're going to have to continue to ask, and it'll take long periods of time to, to get at in terms of intelligence and gathering and whatnot. Uh, I think we can find a, a reasonable approach to, to you know, find out 